So now I can get up there. I gotta kill that, uh... Gotta kill that... Spider. I wanted to say snake for some reason, but that is most certainly not a snake. That is indeed a spider. Let's go, spider. I'm actually gonna knock it down before I get up there all the way. Can I hit it from here? Yes, I can. Come here, you. Come here. I'll fight you from the floor down. Let's go. Who cares if you have the high ground? I have a sword. You're a spider. Don't block me. Stop blocking me. This thing is good. This is one professional spider. I fell down again, and now it's coming down after me. Oh, no. Ah, there we go. Oh, wait, can I finish it from here? Ah, oh, yes, I can. It is too easy. I am amazing. See, as long as you take bomb puzzles out of the equation, I'm, I'm unstoppable. Nothing can stop me. Oh, I need a... I don't have a key. I just assumed that I had a key. Where would I get a key from? Right there? Would there be a key in just that random... Do you get keys from small chests, or do you only get them from big chests? I can't remember, in all honesty. I don't remember what the size of the chest the last one we got it from was. I got some hearts. Nice, I'll take that. Open this bad boy. What do I get? Ooh, red rupee. Nice. Making bank. All right, where am I going for this, uh... I don't know. Oh, it's right there on that. I can just knock that off, can I? Hey, I dived. Like a champ. Can't go underwater, though, because Zora. I knocked these over just by rolling into them, right? Yep. Easy. Does this thing have the uh, key in it, I assume? If not, then I don't know where to get this key. There's the key. Alright, sweet. Uh, what's on top of there? Oh, it's just a pot. Well, it may as well knock it over. No reason not to. Five rupees richer for it. Alright, make sure that I don't get on the panels that activate those guys. Can I just go straight across? Oh, hey, I can. Sweet. Oh, there's a, uh, there's a chest back there. Hold up a second. Let's get this monkey out, and then I'm gonna try- How do I- mm, I don't know how to put out the fires, though. How would I go about putting out the fire? I don't know how to do that, actually. I don't have to put out all of the fires. I just have to put out one fire, don't I? The fire of the furthest back one. I don't know how I do that, though. What, like, what can I do to put out a fire? Like, there's water all around. Obviously, I'd be able to find some way of, like, picking up a rock or something and smothering it if this was real life, but it's not. So, how do I... Wrong thing. Meant to press plus. Uh, I don't really... I don't think I have anything that can put out a fire. Ow. Oh, wow, you actually launched me up here. Well, thank you for that. Will throwing a pot at it do anything? Probably not. What is... What is with that, uh... What is with that right there? What's going on with this log? Why is it like got a crack in it? Can I jump at this? No, I instantly dive. Yeah, I don't know how I would put out a fire with the current assortment of items that I possess. That chest could have something really useful in it though. Like I really want that chest. I don't know what I could do though. Can I actually attack these guys like at all? Is there any way to hurt them? Can I, like, hit you with this? No, I can't. I don't think you can hurt those guys. Yeah, I I don't know how I would put that down. Was it something that, like, I don't remember which paths I raised first. Was that something where it was like, oh, you have to make sure not to put out, put on the fire until you go behind it, but I went behind, I put up the fire without even thinking about it? That's probably what happened. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's actually any way I can get back to this now. Like, I, I can't put out these fires, can I? I, I don't know of any way I can. Like, hitting it with the lantern again isn't going to take away the fire. No, I didn't think so. Hitting it with my sword doesn't do anything. I don't know. Maybe if I had a bottle and I, like, scooped up some water, but I don't want to... I don't think my health potion is worth wasting to hope that I can scoop up water and then use it to put out this fire for a chest that there's no telling what is actually inside of it. So, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not going to mess with it. Let's just move on. I mean, if it's it looks like it's an optional chest. So, whatever it is, it's probably handy. It's probably like 30 rupees or something. I don't know. It would probably be nice to have, but it's definitely... Definitely don't think it's going to be a necessity that it's like, Oh, you didn't get this. You're screwed. I need to go back to the original area. Now that I have these monkeys. Still not sure if four monkeys is all I need. I feel like there's probably definitely a fifth one somewhere. But we'll see. How much time do I have left? I'm actually running out of time. I've only got a little over 10 minutes right now. 
Or not, I mean a little under 10 minutes, not a little over 10 minutes. Probably not going to get this dungeon done today, but we'll make progress. Oh, uh, they're all telling me to go that way now, so I assume I only needed the four. Yeah, I know, I'm going, I'm going, calm down. I can only assume that every other monkey we've gathered is male because they do not have a flower like the female monkey. You guys gonna get far enough? I imagine you wouldn't do this whole little cutscene of trapeze artistry if this wasn't far enough. Is that enough distance? Uh, I can't tell. We're just gonna go and hope. Bum 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 bum. It was sweet. Thanks, monkeys. I I appreciate your assistance. I will go and defeat the evil baboon in your name. Uh, there's another monkey over there. There is another monkey. I can't get over there though because these are offset. I need the boomerang to be able to manipulate wind. I bet you that silver baboon is right through here and has the boomerang. And we're probably about to fight him. And I'll probably end this session after fighting the monkey. Assuming that that's what's, that's what's about to happen. Since that closed behind me, I assume it is. It is indeed. There he is. How does a monkey gain dark magic to manipulate a boomerang with? Someone explain that to me. Oh yeah, this is definitely going to work. I do not remember how to fight this monkey, I'm going to be perfectly honest. He's inviting me to spank him again, which I plan to do rather violently. But I do not remember how to fight this monkey. I assume that at one point he's going to throw the boomerang and then I'm supposed to run into the platform he's on to knock him off. Yep. Is this what I'm supposed to do? Is that going to knock him down? Oh yeah, it threw him off and then the boomerang hit him. Sweet. And now I go and spank him. Let's go. I told you guys I was going to spank the crap out of this monkey. Get spanked. That's what you get. Remember that you told me to do that. You gave me the option. This is, this is honestly too easy. This monkey is a pushover. Man, you are getting wrecked, man. Yeah, get back up there to your boomerang. See, see if you can do something with your boomerang. It worked so well the first time. Kind of like this uh, baboon music we got going on. Sounds nice. Get wrecked. Poor baboon doesn't understand how boomerangs work. I was three hits. Are you done after three? Or are you going to, like, change patterns after three? That's how most Zelda and Mario games go. Easy. Oh, you knocked down a Deku Baba. Oh, but I already killed you, so it's fine. And that somehow led to the Deku Baba being killed. Oh, you're being controlled by a parasite. Nice. I should probably stab that. Oh, never mind. It exploded. That works. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Yeah, I'm right here. Yeah, you better run. Before I spank you again. Stupid monkey. That was an easy mini boss. That's too many bosses we've had now. I'm, I don't remember if there's another one in this temple or not. I think the next one might just be the final boss. What is this called? The Gale Boomerang? I am the fairy of winds who resides in this boomerang. Oh, I must suck to have to reside in a boomerang held by a monkey that likes to get spanked. You have freed me from evil, and I now have my true power back. Please, take it with you, use it to aid your quest, and may both my power and my blessing go with you. If you focus power on your boomerang before releasing it, it will unleash the power of wind, aiding you in unforeseen ways. Sweet. I think this is called the Gale Boomerang, isn't it? Yep, Gale Boomerang. This mysterious boomerang houses the fairy of winds. It sucks things up with gale force. On the item screen, yeah, I can. Sweet. All right. Lock on to as many as five targets as once at once. I can say words, I promise. I bet even the monkeys should be satisfied now. Okay, let's continue uh, combing this place. We already found something good, so let's keep searching places we haven't looked yet. Will do. And now I have to use the boomerang to get out. All right. Uh, let's switch it with... Whoops. I keep pressing down instead of plus. Let's switch it with the lantern. I don't think I need the lantern right now. All right. Go, Gale Force. Easy. How much time have I got? Oh, do I have to keep doing it? Or do I have to, like, hold it longer, or... What? Oh, whoops. I, dang it, I pressed R by mistake, and I just... Ah, my... uh, I need to just not have that equipped. I pressed R instead of ZR by mistake, because I'm stupid. Yeah, lock. Great. Can I just lock onto it, like, five times? Go ahead. How many times am I going to have to do this? I pressed R by mistake in ZR... In place of ZR, and now I'm upset, because that's just annoying. There we go. 
That was that was a good waste of 30 rupees. Good job, me. I hope that I don't need to heal later. Next time that I fill a bottle up with healing potion or milk or something, I'm going to take it off of my hot bar, and then when I need it, I will open it, I will put it in the hot bar and use it. That's how I should have had it in the first place anyways. It was dumb of me to have it otherwise. Alright, Gale Force Boomerang. I need you to just hit that one. Perfect. Thank you. Hey, there's another monkey over here. Can I use the Gale Force Boomerang to knock him down and also knock down that chest from earlier that I can go back and get? Oh, the Gale Force Boomerang will also let me put out fire, I bet, because of wind. So I can go back and get that other chest as well. Sweet. I'm gonna go do that. Alright, well, there goes the monkey. It's a good thing that he's not affected by the forces of nature. He can just go and be free. Good for him. Well, I guess there are still some monkeys you haven't freed yet. At this point, you should just save them all and see what you can get for it. Good point. I probably should. I mean, I definitely don't lose anything from it. Alright. There is a bat. Oh, get wrecked, bat. Didn't even mean to do that. Ah, oh, dang it. Gotta hit this one, too. Go. Alright. We're gonna go put out those fires so that I can get that chest. Which may or may not be necessary now. I don't even know. And then I'm probably gonna wrap up. And we'll, I'll go ahead and... How much time do I have? Oh, yeah. I'll definitely have enough time to go and grab that chest in the main room as well. So to make sure I don't forget it. It's in here, isn't it? I think this is the room that it was in. Yeah, this is it. Just make sure I don't... Uh, can I actually hit these things with, like, if... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I back up and get it to pop up... Yeah, can I hit this thing with the boomerang? Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, and that throws it into the water and it dies a painful death. Sweet. Take that. Oh, I just knock out everything. I knock out all the platforms. Sweet. Just do that, then. Oh, it's too easy. Oh, no, this one didn't go in the water. Die. All right, you're dead. You die as well. Nothing survives. All right, sweet. Let me, uh, lock on there. No, not on that. Onto that. Okay, you know what? Just go. Just go. Ah, there we go. I don't even have to knock down anything else, I'm pretty sure. Die, you freak of nature. Whatever. Oh, no, what are you doing? Stop, 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 stop. It flipped back up, and I got terrified for a second there. All right, what do we have in here? What is this? Anything useful, or is it just optional? Ah, it's a piece of heart. Completely optional. Sweet, so we've got, uh, only two more to go, and we'll get another heart container. We should also get a heart container later on once we finish up this temple because you normally fight a boss at the end of a temple like this and then usually, from what I remember, at least how it was in Skyward Sword, is you would get a whole heart container for every boss you beat. Every, like, main temple boss, not, like, the mini-bosses like when we fought the baboon. I'm pretty sure Twilight Princess works the same way, if I'm not mistaken. I want to go down this way, I think. I can also use the leave me alone. I can also use the boomerang to suck in those, uh, to pull those, whatchamacallit calls this towards me, right? The bomb guys, so that can be easier. Hey, there's still a monkey here. That's convenient. Help me out, monkey. Thank you, my friend. All right, let me get this really quick. There's the girl monkey. Can I knock over this chest? Why did that go down? What did I do to cause that to go down? What did I hit? Oh, I put out the fire right there. Right, right, right. Because it does that. I want to hit this. Ah, oh, there, I got it. Sweet. Let me open this up. Give me your contents, chest. It is a compass. This handy tool will show you where to find objects hidden in this dungeon. All right, well, that's that's all right. I don't really care, honestly. That's good enough. Well, if it isn't something useful, as long as you have that, uh, you should be able to find where the captured monkeys are, right? Oh, that's actually pretty helpful. Now that I think about it. All right, sweet. We'll worry about the captured monkeys next time. I shouldn't have put away the lantern. I'm going to put away the... Uh, I went to collection again. Take it. I keep pressing down. I'm going to put away the other thing for now. Whatever it's called. Actually, wait a minute. Hold up a second. Put this out again. Can I blow that up right there? That definitely looks like it's explodable. Oh, put away put away my lantern. Yeah. Wasting wasting my fuel. Come here, you. Does this explode? It definitely looks like it should. Indeed it does. And it has what appears to be an optional chest behind it. Perfect. Let me just nab that. Rupees? Sweet. 20 rupees. I, I consider that worth. I will take that. The more money I collect, the better. Alright, well, I'm gonna light this on fire again so that when we come back next time, it should hopefully, unless, you know, the save resets slightly like it did the last time I saved when I had to go back and do the goat wrangling thing again. So that will be up when we come back next time. So I'm gonna save here, guys. 
And you're about to see where the game says I've been playing for like five hours. Yeah, don't mind that. That was because I left the game on earlier in between this session and the last one. So playtime means absolutely nothing. I'll just hit continue playing. I'm about to exit out anyways. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. When we come back next time, we're going to finish up the rest of the Forest Temple and save the monkeys, fight the boss, all that good stuff. And then we'll continue on with Twilight Princess. I believe ne our next stop will be heading into Hyrule, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Until then, farewell.